guys, it's MKC Technology here, also known as MKC Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I actually screen record on my device, and I'm going to actually be talking about the app I use. Now, I did a app review on the screen recording app that I use to record gameplay and stuff like that. I also use another app for screen recording, just in case that the one I mainly use doesn't work. So I'm going to, I might do a video on that on, in, in another video or I might just put it in this video so with that being said before we get started before we get started if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel now like for more videos comment down below on what you think about this video but try not to put any bad comments with that being said let's get started now the app I actually use to screen record is actually called screen recorder plus I think it's called yeah screen uh, screen recorder 5 plus Let's actually go into the Google Play Store, if I can find it, and find the app that I use. Now there is a free version and then there's a full version which you have to download. The full version is just a license that you have to download, I think it's like $2, probably $1.99, it's probably $0.99, cents. I'm not sure for real, I'm not really sure. So let's just type in screen recorder. And you're gonna go down, and you're gonna you're gonna click on this screen recorder app by NLL. You're gonna go ahead and download that. I also use a different screen recorder. If I don't know if they have it here or not. Uh, nah, they don't. I think it's this one. Yes, this is the one I also use. I do not have it on my phone currently because I don't have a storage space. But this is the second one I use just in case my, um the the one I mainly use doesn't work. So. So go ahead and download that if you want to download it but this is the one I mainly use now this is the free version right now I do have the pro version and license installed so I do have the pro version so if you wanted to buy the pro version I guess you could find it somewhere here or no or is it actually actually have to go in the app and I'll go and buy the uh, Pro version with in-app purchase, I think. Uh, let's actually see if we can find it in here. No, they don't. Actually, yes, they do. Here, here it is. So this is the license for the Pro version, uh, screen recorder license. This is the one for the Pro version. I have it installed, so I have screen recorder 5 Plus Pro. So yeah, let's actually go into the app and set it up. Now, if you have a phone running Android KitKat 4.4.4 or below, you will need root access with a unlock bootloader and to record, do screen recording. Now, if you have a phone running Android Lollipop to Android Nougat, you will not need root access. All you need is permission for, uh, to uh, record and render the movie onto, let's say, an SD card. So you will need permission or administrative permission to uh, record the game or whatever you're recording. Now, since I am running Android 5.1.1, I do not need root access on, but I do have an unlock bootloader on my phone. Now, I probably will be doing a video on what does having a unlock bootloader mean and what does having a root rooted phone mean probably in another video so let's actually go ahead and open up the screen recorder app I'm actually using the uh, screen recorder app right now if you didn't tell because the face cam and thing is right there but let's actually go ahead and open up the app and as you see I'm, I'm recording let's move this over here and let's open up the settings now this is how I have it set up now since I do not want the screen recording to be sent sent or rendered to my internal SD card. I do have it set up onto my external. I'm not gonna actually click on that now because if I do click on it and change it, then it's gonna actually cut off the recording. Now, a notification icon, you always have this turned on basically because when you're recording, it's gonna be more easier to stop the recording um, when you when the notification icon is in the when it when it's in the um, notification bar because then you have some buttons where it says stop face cam and then some something else and then right here I have the 
recording delay up to 10 seconds. Basically, the recording delay is basically a countdown, which tells the screen recording app when to start the recording. I also have minimize on record. Basically, whenever you start screen recording on your phone, the the app will then minimize into the system tray, or it will just run in the background. Uh, I turn stop on sleep. Basically, when your phone does turn off, or whenever you hit the power button on your phone, the recording will not uh, stop recording. That's, the, that's something I really hate because say my phone does turn off, I do not want it to stop recording. I want to pick up where I left off. So that's one thing. Uh, I do have show touches on. Let's actually turn that on real quick. And then you can see probably see where I, what I'm doing, but I don't know. The recording engine I am using is the advanced one. So if I did put my finger into the top right corner of the screen, it will actually pause the recording and pick up where I left off. I have the video resolution set up by 800 by 480p. I have the video orientation orientation set up to auto, 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 and I have the frame rate up to 60 frames per second. Now, if you have a Samsung Galaxy Core Prime, just like me, you want it to be set up uh, at 30 frames per second because that's how much that your phone can handle. But I want better quality, so better quality over everything else. So I set it up up to 60 frames per second just for now. But if I am doing a, rec a gaming uh, recording, then I put it down to 30. Now the recording quality is up, set up to four megabits per second. This is something you all you have to keep it on because if you do, let's say uh, five, six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen, or anything up to 20 or anything past four megabits per second then it will just make your processor in your phone or CPU in your phone run too fast and then everything else won't have the right amount of things to do or whatnot so your phone can handle it. Now you do have your banner text which will basically have, which will basically set a little banner of whatever you want it to say on, on your screen. You do have your recording sound which basically turns on the microphone so you can actually capture what you're saying. Uh, what else? You have your micro, your microphone or mic setup or whatever you want. So it set up as your mic or camera mic, which uh, for me, I, I usually set, up, set it up on camera mic, but I don't know if it's actually capturing audio right now. And I have the sound quality up to 120 kickerbytes per second. And I also have the face the face recorder or record face turned on, and that's basically it. Other than that, I do not have the internal media player turned on because I do not like the internal media player on my phone or most phones that I get. So I do download a third-party media player. And then uh, updates, I have that turned on. So basically, when a new update comes out comes out on the Google Play Store, the app that I'm using to record. Uh, to record my screen it was give me a notification saying there's a new update on the Google Play Store go download it now the current version uh, that is out on the Google Play Store is version 8.5 as you can see on the bottom part of my screen and also if we go ahead and hit these this three bars in the top left you also have this thing called web access now if you are currently connected to the Wi-Fi router in your house you could go in and type to click on web access and you'll be able to see the IP address of your phone where you could go onto your computer type in the IP address and the one two three four five, and the five digits after the IP address or you could type in the whole this whole link and whatever you recorded that day will show up on a website where you could go ahead and download that video that you recorded on your phone so if I wanted to download this video I would type in the IP address of my phone and then I'll type in these two semicolons or these little two little dots then I'll type in the five digit the five digits right here or the five numbers right there and then a website will come up and then all I have to do is just download the video and then edit the video and do whatever else I need to do to get it up on YouTube. 
So, yeah, that's what I basically use to record my gameplay or just to record the uh, my screen of my phone. So, yeah, with that being said, it's MKC Technology, also known as MKC Gaming. I'm out. Peace.